so hi dear aquarius a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali taro and this is a general love reading for all the aquarius sun moon venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you at the first place the second thing the roles can be reversed also third thing this is a reading from today till the next 72 hours so it can go up to four to five days so let's start your person's current feelings for you right now are aquarius let's see your person's current feelings for you right now are okay so we have the seven of wands the queen of swords and the queen of cups bottom of the deck is the five of swords right so this is someone who is feeling like uh, either you have blocked them or they are feeling blocked by the circumstances that you guys are facing right now in this situation this is someone who feels like you are having someone else in their life and that is why you are cutting them out of your life you are being mysterious you are being secretive you are not expressing what you are going through. You are not expressing your feelings or confessing something that you should confess to them. Or the vice versa. So whatever the situation is, just take it how it resonates with you. If it's not resonating with you, it's not your story today. I'm really sorry about that. But someone is feeling very blocked in the situation, right? And they feel like cutting this block, blocked kind of energies and coming towards you, right? And uh, they're feeling blocked because you are giving them some kind of secretive and mysterious and not expressing yourself or... Uh, being in your own zone kind of energy right so you might be behaving very secretive and mysterious you might be having your you might be having your own things going on going on in your life what the hell is happening okay and this person is taking it in a, uh, taking it in a very very wrong kind of manner they might be thinking like you're cheating on them or you're having something very something or someone very important uh, than them and that is why you're behaving like that but I feel like you're just trying to protect yourself from being hurt again. That is why you're being detached and kind of cold and off from this person. But they are not able to take it positively. So someone is constantly thinking negative about the situation. Someone's ego is telling them to release the situation to uh, uh, get out of the situation as soon as they possible. I, but I feel they're not able to do that. Very stressed out kind of energy from this person's side. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra or another Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Even if you are not, just go with the energies, not with the signs only. It's not like if you, I'm not telling your signs, so this is not your reading. This reading is valid for every sign, like every 12 sign that uh, you are dealing with. Even if you are dealing with another Aquarius. Try to understand my point. Because you guys keep on asking for the signs, I keep on telling you. But the logic is not here. Okay. This reading is uh, like fairly uh, good for everyone. No matter which sign you're dealing. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation, Aquarius? We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Sun card. Okay. So this person wants to have something very solid and something very... Uh, deep rooted kind of connection with you okay and they want you to wait for the time when the soulmate kind of energies are going to come back in the situation or they are waiting for the time when you are going to bring the soulmate kind of energy the loving kind of energy caring kind of connection back in the situation wow in some cases this person wants to leave a particular uh, commitment or marriage or leave a family behind to be with you and they want you to wait uh, till the time they can come out of the relationship or situation or connection or whatever they are having in the background and they want you to wait for the time when they are going to come out of that completely and have a soulmate and beautiful kind of connection with you wow this is someone who is ready to leave something or someone behind to be with you but they want you to wait for that because they cannot do it just right right now they want to have some kind of soulmate kind of connection with you, okay? They want to have this happily ever after kind of energy with you where both of you are living the best life of your dreams. So the sun is the happiest card in the deck, okay? So they want to have the happiest kind of relationship, happiest kind of love life with you that is possible from their side in the situation. In some cases, they want to leave something or someone behind to be with you or in some cases, they want you to leave something or someone behind and... Uh, be with them so this person feels like you are their true soulmate kind of person and it's just a matter of time that you guys are going to be together or at least they have the desire to be like that so you could be dealing with another uh, with a cancer pisces scorpio aries leo sagittarius taurus virgo capricorn or leo here even if you are not just go with the energies not with the signs only 
Let's see what action is this person going to take towards you, if any, in the next 72 hours or 4 to 5 days. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Knight of Wands. This person is highly attracted to you on and off in your life, in and out of your life and highly mentally unstable as well. They are not sure what they are doing in their life. Anyway, they are going to hold back this urge to come towards you and have this brand new beginning with you. But they are holding on to this idea that someday I am going to go towards Aquarius. I am going to talk to them. I am going to propose them or give them a very stable and solid offer that they cannot deny of having a very a beautiful kind of relationship with them and having a family with them. Okay, but not right now. Till then, uh, till that time, I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to keep the de keep this desire, keep this situation or connection between me and Aquarius as close to my heart as possible from my side. I'm never letting Aquarius go out of my life because I see a future with them and them only. Wow, this is a very cheesy line, but this is what I'm getting here. So downloading and coming out of my, my mouth, I cannot change it or change it. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus or Libra or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Even if you are not, just go with the energies, not with the signs only. Let's see what is the guidance for you people in the situation. So you can expect somebody communicating with you on and off kind of communication is happening and uh, talks about the future is happening, but nothing solid coming out of it, right? Okay. Holding back this urge to propose you or offer you something solid. But in the future, they are planning to do that. This is what I'm, what I'm getting here. As of now, mixed signals, on and off communication. And nothing more than that. Let's see the guidance for you guys in this situation, Aquarius. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Strength card. Okay, honey. So, you started a connection with someone and the, the connection is highly... Uh, like giving you a very, very, uh, uh, what we call that, passionate kind of energy. Like, wow, I'm so attracted to this person. I'm so attracted to their personality. Everything is looking fine to me. But what is that one thing that's stopping you from getting to the point where you want to be in your relationship, in your love life, Aquarius? Something is stopping you again and again from getting to the point of, you know, commitment, marriage or long-term partnership or something like that. Because from inside of you, you know that having that kind of energy is not like healthy for you to have this forever kind of connection with someone. If someone is highly unstable, even if they are like passionate about you, even if you guys are having intense chemistry, like physical chemistry with each other, is this the person who is going to give you the happily ever after kind of stable kind of connection, the boring kind of true love kind of connection that everyone wants in their life eventually? If not, this is high time for you to face your fears and understand what exactly is the point of having this kind of energy in your life should you release them because if you are not going to release them now or release this situation or release this belief of yours of having fun right, right now and not seeing the future thing it is going to haunt you very much in the life future think about it Aquarius please think about it I'm not saying every one of you is doing, doing that but most of you might be are doing is doing are doing that right so High time to think what you exactly want. A passionate kind of adrenaline uh, rush kind of thing, uh, uh, in and out kind of energy, immature kind of energy or a stable person or stable situation where you are secure, stable and in love and at peace. Your wish. Okay. Accordingly, the universe is going to bless you with those energies that you are going to manifest consciously or unconsciously. Cool. So thank you so much for tuning in Aquarius. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.